Hello, Julie Gorsi coming to you today with my monthly market wrap. Well, here we are in the midst of a global crisis. When I wrote down on my to-do list at the back end of last week to prepare for my monthly video, I honestly thought I could get away without speaking about coronavirus and focusing on other things. With the world changing so rapidly, we have had to make some significant changes to the way we do real estate. The great news is we are very much still operational. Buyers are active. In fact, so far this month, our Colborough and Kalala offices have exchanged 10 properties with another six going under contract this week. We are no longer conducting open for inspections, which is fine. Private appointments are easy. How we're handling this is if you would like to inspect one of our properties, we ask that you contact us. Generally, buyers would tend to have two inspections of a property prior to purchasing it. So we are offering the first inspection via virtual tour. This is where I take you through a walk through the pro property via a video chat. You can ask me questions as we're going through. I can zoom in on areas that you'd like to see more closely. From there, if you would like to visit the property in person, all we're doing is practicing social distancing 1.5 metres apart. I'm asking buyers to sanitise their hands before coming into the home and keeping their hands in their pockets. Easy peasy. We are no longer holding in-room auctions. You may know I am an auction agent and I still strongly believe that that is the better method of sale. Whilst we can't have people attend an auction either in rooms or on site, we can do them via phone. And we're also moving towards Auction Now, which is a live stream auction scenario and people can bid, buy, sign a contract and exchange all remotely. Look, this stuff isn't new to us. We've been using technology for ages now. It's why God gave us smartphones. So for us in real estate, it's certainly not business as usual, but we are still here to help people with their real estate needs during this difficult time. To our landlords and our tenants, rest assured that our experienced property management team are well equipped to handle the pressure we currently find ourselves in. We understand our landlords have mortgages to pay. We understand some of our tenants now find themselves without an income. And we have stringent systems in place for handling these types of things. And our property managers are working around the clock. I'm really impressed with the initiative that they've taken, springing into action and doing so with such a positive attitude. Speaking of positive attitudes, so many people are asking me, what's it like in Colborough at the moment? Well, our supermarkets have been raided also. Businesses are shutting down, kids aren't going to school, people are hurting and they're scared. However, I'm seeing some amazing people step up and show strength and leadership even though the chips are down and I'm really grateful for these people within our community. For example, Rachel Anderson of EST Gym had to close her business. And rather than cry or wallow in self-pity, she's putting herself out there and making videos for people to follow along in their homes. And she's still committed to helping people with their mental and physical health. My friend Kelly Gray had to close her salon today. She did this with a smile on her face and recorded a video explaining that she will be doing online tutorials and starting an online shop so people can still buy their product. The local teachers in our community, what amazing people. My son's teacher, a Colborough Beach local, Corinne Wright-Smith, drove to my house and dropped off some schoolwork for my son. She gave me a run through on what we need to do and she did this at 6 p.m. at night, well after hours, all with a smile on her face. These examples of leadership and positive attitudes is what's keeping me in a positive mindset while all this is going on. One last thing. As we all bunker down in our homes, our safe haven, remember, we all have a responsibility to look after the vulnerable people in our community. Not everyone has a home that is their safe haven, so just be on the lookout for anyone who might be in need. We can get through this as a community if we all look out for one another. Well, that's it from me. Thanks so much for watching. And if I can help you in any way, please don't hesitate to give me a call. See you next month.